Good day, everybody. It's the Musical Gamer. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona Q. We're in the nurse's office, and we've got some new requests we can take. Arrest the food bandit and investigate a rumor. Find the different colored heart in the group day, group day cafe. Find out who carried out a theft in the school. It looks like some interesting stuff. We're going to take both of these. Are you sure? This quest is... It's from Naoto. I'll go call her. Okay, well, what what does Naoto want? I apologize, but... Uh, this is somewhat awkward. Well. If you don't mind, I would like to explain the details of this request. Recently, a theft was reported. The client is... Uh, let's call her Miss C for now. This is Chie, isn't it? The stolen object was a meat gel... Yeah, this is definitely Chie. That the client was saving for a snack. I truly can't imagine how it tastes. Whatever the value of the theft, a crime is a crime. I made this request so that the truth can be revealed. That's our ace detective. Yeah, that's our ace detective, all right. Uh, um, so I would like your assistance in this matter. Uh, okay, Elizabeth, you're not helping. I in any case, I would like to talk to you more about this. Let us discuss the matter somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the, the lady in the pink nurse's outfit who just likes to, you know, butt in unnecessarily. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. I see. Sorry, Elizabeth. You're just too nosy. I'll be counting on you. Okay, there's a time limit. Duly noted. Uh, we will investigate a rumor I... as well. It seems as though. I've heard a rumor that in one of the areas in the Group Day Cafe, one heart has a different color from the rest. I would like you to investigate the truth behind this rumor. If you happen to find it, please come report to me. Uh, oh. This quest will have a Okay. So wait. I know who did- That was Yukari who found that. So what, do we just stroll around and Yukari will let us know something we couldn't find out there? Hmm. Ah, right, Naoto, what do you want? <sighs> We've come this far, so I'm sure we'll be alright. Let us begin the case of the missing meat jelly. This sounds so horrible. This does not sound like it's going to end well. Are you suspicious of everyone? Yes. Yes, as I said before, I would like to us to be as covert as possible in our investigation. There is a very high probability that the culprit is among us. I'll explain everything that I have deduced. First, let's go over the facts we already know. First, the time the crime was committed, it would have to have taken place while we were in the labyrinth. Because of this, there are only four people with the means of committing the crime at that time. Theo, Margaret, Marie, and Elizabeth. So it has to be one of the denizens of the Velvet Room, is what you're saying. Everyone else with a conscious mind was with us at the time, leaving those four as the only suspects. Also, according to Miss C's testimony, she witnessed seeing someone flee the scene. She only caught a glimpse and cannot provide a description. However, we can assume the culprit is acting alone. What do you think? That is as far as my theory goes at the moment. What do you think? <laughs> it wasn't me! I swear, coppers, it wasn't me! Hmm. Um, were you listening to what I said? No, Naoto, I, I wasn't. I was currently trying to see if your boobs were poking out of your jacket. You must really wrap those well in there. Uh-huh. Okay, the culprit's acting alone. The culprit will lie, and everyone else will tell the truth. Sure. Uh, flawlessly. Okay, so Let's the culprit go. was acting alone. The culprit will lie. But everybody else will tell the truth. Well, sure. Fine. We'll do that then. So what do we do? We stroll? Or... Ah, okay. So that's that one. Let's actually focus on the case with Naoto first. Since we've come this far, we might as well just, you know, keep, keep looking into this. Let's start with Theo. I like Theo. Theo's probably not the guy we're looking for, I'm but sorry. who knows? Could you tell me what you were doing at the time, Theo? I I haven't done Excuse anything. Me. Please, I'm telling the truth. Uh, calm, Please, down. calm down. I'm not accusing you of anything. Oh, I see. My sister is always blaming me for things I didn't do. I panicked out of habit. 
Uh, you have my sympathies. <laughs> mine too. Oh, mine too. However... But as I stated, I can affirm that I am not the thief. As for proving it, that would be somewhat difficult. By the way, the one who goes around the school grounds the most without is without a doubt Elizabeth. Just between you and me, I have my suspicions that Elizabeth is the one behind this theft. Thank you very much. Understood. Thank you for cooperation. Okay, so Theo affirms he didn't do it, but he thinks huh. Elizabeth is the what? one who did. Uh, oh, we have an item necessary for a request? Do we still have the, um, ah, we just, ooh, we still have the snakeskin. Right, we need to hand that in. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we will do that as soon as we're done figuring this thing out. So let's go to the actual velvet room this time. Let's talk to Margaret and Marie. I'm sorry. Oh. So you've been cooped up in there the whole time. But Marie sometimes goes on walks. That is true. Oh, okay. So you two can't vouch for each other. Hmm. Okay, Marie says she's not the thief. But... But if I were the thief, I'd definitely lie about it. Of course. <laughs> well, it's logical. <laughs> people just say, I'm not the thief. It's If that worked, the police would have a much harder time finding people. I swear. That is true. By the looks of it, Marie does not appear to be lying. And though it goes without saying, I am not the culprit. I simply don't have the time for such things. Okay, so wait a minute. Is this going to be one of those stupid, like, truth and lie paradoxes? Like... The fact that Margaret says Marie isn't lying about not being the thief. And she's saying she's... And Margaret's also saying she's not the thief. But if she's lying about not being the thief, is she also lying about Marie not lying? But if Marie's... But if she's lying about Marie not lying, that means Marie's not lying, which means she's the thief. That means Margaret can't... Oh my god, my brain. My brain! No. 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 <laughs> oh my god. My head hurts. My head hurts. Okay, No. All right, I think out of... I'm, I'm just going to say no to the two of you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Why did I have to do one of these stupid paradoxes? Okay, I don't think the game would try to confuse the crap out of us like that. So, odds are... Welcome to Margaret the is saying Marie isn't lying. It doesn't look like she's lying. It still could mean nothing. Marie could still be lying. However, if Margaret says that Marie might not doesn't look like she's lying and margaret says she's not lying if margaret is right about marie that means margaret can't be the thief because she's telling the truth oh jesus christ this is a lot more complicated than i thought i'm, I'm probably being an idiot and i'm making this to be way more complicated than it should be i think we're going to oh my god i'm gonna save the game because this looks like one of those things that if i pick wrong I fail the request, and I definitely don't want to do that. Somebody was uh, saying to me in the comments in a previous video that there are requests like that, where you could just get the you can get the answer wrong, and you will fail the request, and there's nothing you can do about it. Luckily, I chose right with the um, the Zen one we did before, but I could just be completely wrong about this. Okay, so I'm gonna operate under the assumption that Marie and Margaret I'm are sorry. innocent, which means. Depending on what Elizabeth says, it could be either Elizabeth or Theo. What were you doing at the time the crime took place, Elizabeth? Yeah, that's right. Answer my questions. Yeah, you're, you're a suspect. The thief is a member of my family. Hmm. Okay, so you're saying it's not Marie. Were I truly the thief, I would not want to give any information to an investigator. Of course you have to consider the possibility that I am lying. Please be sure to think carefully on what I said. Hmm. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Sure. Oh my god, this is... This is confusing. Welcome. You know what? We could we can report this request. I think legendary medicine, snakeskin. We got the snakeskin last time. <laughs> At least we can finish this. Uh, no, I will not be your test subject. This will be your reward. Promotion ticket. 
What the hell does that do? I have no clue what that does. I think both Shinji and Junpei leveled up, though. Okay, so what do we do now? We have their testimonies. <sighs> we now have testimonies from each of the four suspects. Let's go over them. We'll start with Marie. She said that she is not the thief and that the thief would be lying. Well, both... Well, I can't say both. But the thief would lie. That is a true statement. So does that mean Marie's telling the truth? Marie is not lying and that she herself is not the thief. He said that he is not the thief, but that Elizabeth is the most likely one to have done it. I kind of agree with Theo. Elizabeth is kind of weird like that. Elizabeth, all she said was that the thief would be someone other than Marie. If we assume that the culprit will lie, and the others will tell the truth, if we reverse their testimonies and compare them to our assumptions, we may figure out something, something out. <laughs> I didn't do it! <laughs> just, just repeat it again. Let's just look at that again. Okay, so if we reverse this... ...and compare them... Okay, so if Marie... ...is telling the truth... ...Marie is not the thief... ...and that the, and the thief would lie. That's true! However, on the converse, if she's lying... Wait, but that makes no sense. Why would she lie? If she's lying, that means she is the thief... But the thief would tell the truth. That's a... That's a paradox. That is a total paradox. I think Marie... Is innocent. Which means... Margaret... Would be innocent. If we assume that Marie is innocent... Margaret would be innocent. Because... Margaret's telling the truth about Marie. That she's not lying. That means... Margaret's other statement is true. That she's not the thief. He is not... Theo says that... The, he's, he himself is not the thief, which you could lie about. He also say Elizabeth is the most likely one to have done it. Lastly, Elizabeth, all she said was that the thief would be someone other than Marie. But the thing is... Oh god, Theo, this does not look good for you. If... Marie, if we assume Marie is telling the truth about not being the thief, that means that Elizabeth is telling the truth. Because Margaret is telling the truth, and Elizabeth's statement that the thief would be someone other than Marie is true. If we reverse their testimonies and compare them to our assumptions, we may figure something out. Oh god. Uh, well, needless to say, I didn't do it. You can't pin me. Uh, um, no. <laughs> I just like making your life difficult now, so don't mind me. We can assume that that person is still hiding something. Think about this for a moment. I... I mean, sure. What should I do? That's correct. Okay. We'll finish in time, but we may prevent the thief from taking further actions. Don't go accusing people at random. <laughs> I will see you later. Alright, fine. Now tell you go do your thing. Uh, oh crap, man. I'm gonna save again. Save data already exists, that's fine. I think it's Theo. I think Theo's the thief. Because, but this is all assuming that Marie is telling the truth. But she, if, if one statement is true, then that means the other needs to be true. Because the thief would lie. And the thief would lie about everything. Theo's statements are the only statements that both could be taken as a lie and still be correct. I think. I think I think it's Theo. I I, I think Theo is the thief. Remember the testimonies. Let's let's just look this over one more time. The key premises is the thief. The thief is lying and worked alone. She's not the thief, and the thief would lie. That Margaret's not the thief, but that Marie is not lying. That he's not the thief, uh, and that Elizabeth would be the culprit. 
you know, Theo is also the only one who's pinned the blame on somebody. Which is also really, really suspicious. I, th I think it's you. Theo, I love you, but no, I think it's you. What are you saying? Me? What basis do you have to make that accusation? Reverse it. V very well. Let us try that, then. I stated that I was not the thief and that Elizabeth seems the most suspicious. R reversing that would be... I am the culprit and Elizabeth is not suspicious? I suppose that I is a consistent so? argument, but do you have any proof? He does have a point. I- Hello. Oh! Uh, hey Naoto. I'm sure that you are hard at work on your investigation. I was just saying to him that I am not- Yes, I heard your conversation. You're Theodore, the one behind this. you are the true thief, aren't you? W what Why would that be? Saying? All I said to you was that meat jelly had been stolen. How exactly did you know that the victim was Chie? Ah ha 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 ha! 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 You've been caught! Red-handed, you bastard! If you confess now, your punishment will be less severe. What will you do? N no, I I'm sorry, but I will have to decline that offer. I see. Very well. I'm sorry to bother you with this, but would you gather everyone at the entrance to the group date cafe? I. Uh, why? What are you doing? Okay. Oh god. Now, Tar, are you about to like open a can of whoop ass on Theo's ass? Like that would be yeah, that'd be funny. According to my hypothesis. Hey now! Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> uh Chie's pretty pissed. Yes. My I'm apologies. truly sorry. That's it. Why? Don't you have anything to say? Like, that you're really hungry and it looks too delicious to pass up? There is a reason why Calm Theo down. can't explain it. What is your problem? What reason? Chie Senpai, are you certain that you left your meat jelly on this desk? Yeah. And when we entered the labyrinth, Yosuke Senpai hid his, uh, vitals on the desk. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Huh? Yes. When Yosuke Senpai hit the desk, the blackboard on it moved. When the door shut, it knocked the blackboard over. Wait, what? Oh. Huh? Did Theo just clean everything? And he was really just <sighs> being a maid? Okay, I clearly remember Yosuke screaming and Chihei shouting at him. <laughs> I was shouting? What did I say? Yes. If anything happens to my meat jelly, you're a dead man. Did you say this, Chihei Senpai? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> By that reaction, I think she did. I knew that Yosuke's life depended on me! Of course. Oh! He was doing Yosuke a favor. Was it truly a crime that warrants death? I turned the question over and over in my mind. By the time I realized it, I had already cleaned up the mess, and in doing so, hidden a deep, dark secret. Of course not. Is that so? <laughs> you no. thought you you thought she was gonna actually kill him? I've solved oh my case. god! It's all Chie's fault. In the end, I guess I brought this on myself. <laughs> you just get smushed it anyway. Oh, jeez. Alright, well... Hey, what? Are you saying this is all my fault? No. Not at all. This incident occurred due to Theo's actions. E Elizabeth... The most unforgivable thing is that he tried to lay the blame on me with his false accusation. Yeah, he did. That was, I won't lie, that was kind of a dick move, man. My apologies. That was a dick move, Theo. Oh, great. Now you got her crying. It's obviously overdramatic. Okay. 
Ooh, Theo, you made her cry. Uh, I, uh, Excuse me. That is true. I suppose you could show your contrition by... Hmm, why don't you buy a meal for everyone present? Yes, of course. I will go immediately. Oh, they're so mean to him. Aw, oh, Theo, I feel so bad. I feel like I owe him another apology. No. <laughs> Hey, any time. Nah, not at all. I do what I can. Oh, I... Well, I, I just... I just followed the clues. A huge pile of food. Oh. Don't give it a ray. Hey. She'll probably eat it all Have immediately. <sighs> oh, you had more. <laughs> hmm... Oh, God. Oh, is this going to be, like, Fuka's cooking bad? What the hell is this? This is, uh, how do I put it? <laughs> it's gross. Jeez. The, the meat, meat is all squishy. Oh, even Koromaru doesn't like it. It tastes so good! Chie, I think you need to go to a doctor. Okay, well... Some good news oh. is that we've dealt with that. Uh, we could also sell, I think, all of our stuff. Yeah, we, we got rid of the snake skin. So, sell all the materials, get tons of money. Thank you. Get a huge amount of new equipment and stuff. Wow. I'm probably going to upgrade people off screen. Next time on Let's Play Persona Q, we'll probably tackle the other request we have to uh, go on a stroll and talk to people about that weird heart-shaped pillow in the labyrinth. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video.